For a second, I had a look. I was like, is this the wine one that I didn't change? <laughs> so we had to make a special intro for when my wife joined us because she don't drink whiskey. So welcome to the show. This is Whiskey Weights and Way with me, Chuck. And me, Zach. Today we have a special guest, uh, Matt Powell. So he is running Georgia's Strongest Man, and we are live streaming that. So I figured we'd get him on here to talk about his competition coming up and the one he did this past weekend. Nice. How are you doing tonight? Appreciate y'all having me on, boys. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, super excited. Uh, you know, y'all told me it was uh, whiskey and uh, time to talk about strongman, so I'm all about it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. to y'all. Speaking of, let's go ahead and pour that up real yeah. quick. So what are you drinking tonight? Oh, man, I got some Ardbeg, man. I uh, I don't know if I'm hard enough to be as cool as you guys, so I just grabbed the, whatever scotch was a friendly gift and uh, threw it a glass. There you go. Uh, we drink a little bit of anything and everything, so cheers. Chin chin. chin, chin. Cheers, boys. All right, well, let's start it off. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, man. So I've been doing strongman for a long, long time. Uh, along with being a strongman, I'm also lucky enough to be a dad and a husband to uh, an amazing family. I actually work with uh, special operations for a day job, and then we own a gym here in Columbus, Georgia, called Body Evolution Gym. Uh, a lot of strongman, a lot of powerlifting, a lot of uh, Olympic lifting, CrossFit, all that good stuff, a lot of competitors, and then also a whole other side of just people who want to get fit and do a lot of body transformations, you know, composition all that good stuff and then uh, i'm actually re lucky enough to also be a registered dietitian so i do a little bit of that with my clients uh so it's been super lucky man to, to be able to have such a wide variety of people to work with every day it's uh it's never boring it's always a little busy but uh it's a lot of fun for sure that's awesome um are you on the excel sheet that i made on alabama strongman page where like i have a directory of all the gyms Yes, sir. You, you were kind enough to throw us on there and put a little uh, pin on there, if you will, and let everybody know. We've actually had quite a few boys from the uh, just over the Chattahoochee come on over and visit us because of that. So I appreciate it for sure. Oh, and, uh, you know, nice. obviously Chris Slater and the boys over there do a fantastic job as well. So there's a whole bunch of you strong Alabamians over there uh, and they're doing a good job of sharing with us. We appreciate it. Oh, I'm just doing my part to help. I know you've run like two or three Instagram pages, kind of like I do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, Just like I, you, I'm I like think I to you. Or DMing you from different pages, trying to trying to make <laughs> stuff happen. I'll forget which one I'm on. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. What did I do? So yeah, hundred percent. I do the same thing. <laughs> I think I'm talking to you on Limit Breaker yep. to your personal page, and then That's like cool. on Alabama Strongman, I'm talking to Georgia Strongest Man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We started posting like funny memes. I got so tired, bro. So. Just like Alabama's Strongest Man, like Georgia's Strongest Man had an amazing history, right? We had Jeff Lee, who just won America's Strongest Man. He was Georgia's Strongest Man a couple years in a row. Wesley Claiborne, obviously, is one of the bigger heavyweights that came out the last five, ten years. Um, I mean, we've had some amazing, amazing athletes come through there, and it used to have, you know, nationwide recognition. Everybody would come down and come compete for the Stone record and all that stuff. And then when Scott Helms passed about, shoot, four years ago almost or three years ago, he, uh, you know, he left a major void. And. You know, Mark Bevins and Todd up there at Growler's Gym up in Canton, Georgia, did an amazing job. And obviously, Mark Phillips from Madhouse, they all try to kind of come together to make it happen. But, man, they finally looked at me. They're like, dude, we're, we're too old. We don't know how to do the social media. We don't know how to promote it. We don't know how to do all that stuff. And unfortunately, that's kind of what it's become is, like, people won't go to your show unless you have a presence somewhere to kind of push them. Um, you know, between that and then having, you know, Body Evolution here in, in Columbus and being able to bring some of my own athletes and a great opportunity for them, it kind of worked out perfect where I was able to do that. But you know, to your point, that social media and that ability to run multiple pages at once has become incredibly annoying, <laughs> but also incredibly you, annoying. you took the words out of my mouth. I was about to say, you, at this day and age, you almost have to be annoying as hell to get a lot of people to sign up to something. 100%. And you've done an amazing job, you know, looking at your track record with Alabama Strongest Man, obviously being able to do the Alabama Strongman, excuse me, Instagram page. Yeah. And then your Limit Breakers, brother, like, over the last two years, I've seen it just grow and grow and grow, and more and more people know about that show, and you've done a great job. I think you filled up your entire roster in, what, like three days, four days, something like that? So just the one division, we we, we got one spot left, and yeah. let's see, we are like eight months, nine months out, yeah, and nice. I sent the invites out like early May, and, you know, uh, or no, sorry, I sent them out in April because I had so many people asking, when are they going out, when are they going out? So I shot them all out in April. By mid May, we were um, we got one spot left in the 105s. Dude, that's so insane. I'm very grateful for that. That is insane. You should uh, you should be super proud of that, man. The, like how far that show has come. Because remember a couple of years ago, I saw it and I was like, oh, it looks kind of cool and it's nearby. Like 
maybe. And then it filled up and I was like, all right, I'll wait till next year. No big deal. And then that one filled up and I was like, oh, okay. And then I kind of teased you about like, hey, where's my invite? And I got it. And I was like, oh, I was going to lose my spot, man. Like, shoot. Well, you know, and I, I am not well versed in the local level. And I'm right. still learning a lot. You know, I grew up watching World Strongest Man. I was obsessed with it. And I didn't know there were weight class division competitions in the South until 2020. Like, yeah, I, I was putting together one for 2021, our very first one, F and Strong. We had eight people total, counting me. And I thought I was going to be the only strongman show in the Alabama. I was like, oh. And somebody said, you know, Alabama's is like 10 years deep right now. I was like, no, I didn't know, even know it was existing. So, <laughs> I got connected with uh, Garrett Tucker out of West Alabama and Todd out of the forge. And they've invited me to a lot of things. And now that I know about it, I've been digging as much as I can learning about the local level. And I didn't really find out about you until the state strongest. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I am not a big, you know, like, like we're just talking about not big on social media. Like, you know, I've been blessed enough to go to America's strongest man nationals and, you know, compete really, really well there. The Arnold have been there a couple of times. OSG have been able to compete there, but like, I don't talk about it. You know what I mean? So, so it's partially my fault for not, you know, reaching out sooner and kind of helping. But until we run and started running Scott Helms Memorial a couple of years ago, just in honor of Scott, because he deserves it so much. And then kind of working with the guys up, like I said, North Georgia, like Mark and Todd and those guys who go to OSG every year and compete at the national level. And Mark's, I think, won four Masters Nationals. You know, just the level of competitor up there, John Furr and guys like that. Like, oh, until yeah. that, though, like, I didn't know much about the Alabama side other than Chris Slater and just from the strongman corp and seeing him around. So, dude, it has been awesome just to see y'all grow and, and to watch how much, like, Alabama and Georgia have been able to just kind of expand their reach and put on so many better shows for sure. Well, maybe this will help build some of that bridge because I can't get a lot of the Georgia guys to even read my messages. Oh, well, <laughs> oh you, tell me, you tell me who and I'll, uh, I'll definitely get after it. Camera likes to time out on us. Hang on. Oh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> but yeah, you tell me which have... Georgia boys aren't responding. I'll, uh, I'll get on that ass for sure. No problem. <laughs> well, the Claibornes, both of them. Tori okay, and yeah, yeah. Uh, Wesley NTL, huh? Yeah, I, I messaged both of them. They both got an invite pending. Uh, Wesley's had one for the last three years. <laughs> I think he still hasn't read the first one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if Wesley can read. I think that's the major issue. I'm pretty sure TL reads in his messages. So he's very intelligent. <laughs> Wesley. Uh, hit or miss you know I think hey, I met he's Wes strong he's, that's all that matters he is super strong i'll give him that i think i met wes when he was like 19 we literally were doing georgia strongest man like 2014 or 2015 and i look over and this is wesley <laughs> and all of a sudden somebody yells his name wes you're up for stones i don't even think he put on tape he just started grabbing stones and just throwing them everywhere it was gnarly <laughs> he won he set the state record that year Crazy. yeah he won america's strongest um what two years ago uh, three now, I think. Yeah, that was the same year that he oh, got wow. invited to World's Strongest Man during COVID, uh, got popped hot for COVID. Ironically, oh, took another no. test the day he got home, which is like 24 to 48 hours later, and he was uh, COVID-free or whatever, non – didn't have COVID, oh, basically. So he just had a bum test, and they wouldn't let him stay and compete. So uh, he's had a rough go since then. He broke his foot in Russia doing the uh, Siberian Power Show. But, I mean, the dude is off the charts and also an awesome human being. So definitely somebody we'd love to be around for sure. We'll throw him and um, Trotter a little nudge and say, hey, go read your messages. <laughs> All right, I'm on it for sure. Trotter actually said he's going to sign up for the Limit Breakers if you still got a spot for him. Oh, yeah. Heavyweight's only got about six filled, so okay. we got 15 spots. We're good. Um, I think – I think overall we're 50% to the capacity Hell yeah. across all awesome. four divisions. Nine months out and 50% is freaking ridiculous. You're doing a good job. Alila Alila Worley's coming for you for the heavyweight women too. She just had an awesome showing at uh, the Arnold, man. I was super proud of her. She Thank upped her game big time. Like she did pretty well at nationals, had a couple little holes in the game. We started working together right after that. So like October, November, from November to March for the Arnold, dude, she made massive strides. I think she came in – six or seven to the Arnold, but she missed the finals by like one small mistake on a sandbag carry. And no, nah, dude, I was, oh. I was uh, just, oh, just gutted for it. It was tough to watch for sure, but she's amazing. I'm excited to have her out there for sure. So she'll be coming out as well. Oh, that's exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to next year because it'll be the first year we have separate divisions for women. So awesome. we can actually build, you know, a little more competition up across the board, right. get higher level people instead of, cause I was so hesitant to invite, you know, some of the women who are in the heavyweight high level, cause we have some lightweight women too. And I was, I was like, I don't want it to just be a 
you know, a wash across the board. So right. I'm excited to have that division here. No, Tell us a little awesome, bit about man. PSL. Like you, you came off that this past weekend, top 10. Is that, yeah, a, I mean, is that considered a world level? It is. Yeah, dude, we had, uh, we had some amazing athletes there like Isaac Mays, uh, unfortunately of Torres Achilles, but I mean, he's been Canada's strongest man for four or five years in a row. He won pro, uh, when it was clash, right. Two years ago, he won that show over in McKeegan to Dan Hughes, um, you know, some amazing athletes who were there for sure. Nick Hine won it this year. I mean, the, the top end of that show is absolutely unreal. Like those are guys who all have podium to OSG, podium of America's strongest man, all have pro cards in the you know, strongman court, all have some amazing lifts for sure. So yeah, it was great, man. To, to be in the finals of that show two years in a row was a huge accomplishment. I'm super proud of it. Um, Honestly, man, if I had just done better on the frame carry, it would have been a whole different deal. Uh, so day two, I went in. I was a little behind. Had a really, really good deadlift run. Um, had a really good circus dumbbell. And then got to a Husafel stone carry, which was made out of those new servers bags. And I'd never touched it before. I wasn't sure exactly how to pick it. Um, and I went for it. Like, I just freaking full send for sure. I grabbed it and took <laughs> off. And uh, unfortunately, enough, just kind of lost my grip on it, which set me back quite a bit. Um so I just hmm. dug myself a little bit of a hole. But, I mean, if you look at the two events I screwed up, if I had done even middle of the pack on those, I'm, I'm sitting in fourth or fifth. So frustrating oh, in yeah. some ways. But, again, to be in the finals two years in a row with a, with a group of guys that good, uh, you know, it's hard. I mean, number hard eight in the world, is it ain't nothing to shake off. So Man, I, uh, I appreciate that. Like I said, I mean, last year was absolutely insane as well. I mean, we had so many dudes who were international coming over and amazing Americans as well. But, I mean – you look at that list, there's seven or eight, you know, strongman court pros. You got two pros from Canada. Um, you know, you got a guy who yes. finished the podium, America's Strongest Man last year, Nick Hine. Uh, McQuiston's an absolute stud. Um, uh, Richie Mozambique, uh, he's a freaking stud as well from Texas. He owns, I think, two or three sandbag and keg throw world records. Uh, I mean, Vince Wilkinson's an up-and-coming freaking stud. He's still in the Army and crushing. I mean, there's just a bunch of guys on there who are just absolute freaks for sure. So it was definitely a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Well, that's exciting. I I watched as much as I could. I, you know, I had uh, my niece's dance recital on Saturday, so I was in the way more important than my that phone. That was probably probably amazing. <laughs> I'm sure you loved every second of that. When she was on stage, I paid attention, but when she wasn't, <laughs> I, was, I had, had that phone in my lap. Me and about four other guys were sitting in a line with our phones in our lap, just watching the best <laughs> room. That's far from oh. that. So love you said that. Isaac tore his uh, Achilles. He did. He was did. Was that on the wheelbarrow? It was, yeah, man. So he took the yoke and he was a freaking stud. Came back, just got a crappy push off, and it just unfortunately went, man. But I mean, he's a class act, and he's a world class athlete. He'll he'll get back fast as hell, uh, hopefully, and you know, hopefully he's got everything lined up. But just a fantastic dude, you know, on all levels. So wish him nothing but the best recovery wise for sure. That's awesome. I, I thought you were down for the count on that same event, and I, especially when the wheelbarrow started coming at your head. Yeah, so they yeah, had yeah. A, so an event that had a yoke carry and they had to run back, grab a wheelbarrow, and run it down. And when he dropped it, I don't like, did you lose balance? Or? No, I went, I went straight to Netherworld, bro. I was in like, I was in the black. <laughs> and he I just, fell into the other lane. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never seen Bobby Thompson move so fast, man. I thought I was going to get scooped <laughs> up when he broke down. I was, ready. I was ready. He baby born you, didn't he? I was ready for it, man. I was ready to hop in the arms <laughs> and just get in there. You know? like, yes, his face a little bit. Who knows? You know, it's get weird. With it. <laughs> some of that greatness rub off. Hey, I'm open, bro. If I can get some more of that press, I'm all about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, let's um, let's talk a little bit about your show coming up. And was it now three weeks? Yeah, yeah, uh, June eighth. So you know, we're excited to have you all out. Thank you so much for doing the live stream. That means a lot to us. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're my biggest excited. thing there is uh, my wife and I lost our nephew, shoot, a little more than two years ago now. Um, and so our oh, goal man, was just to raise as much money for uh, Children's Hospital of Atlanta, who provided amazing care to him. Unfortunately enough, you know, he was unable to pull through. But the level of care, the level of commitment to, you know, to our nephew Miller and uh, our ability to like raise some money for a great cause was the number one reason we wanted to do this. And then obviously, you know, have great strong man, bring back an amazing brand of. Uh, you know, strong man down here. And, and we're super lucky. We got 55 awesome competitors coming in, you know, everybody from novice and masters who have never competed before all the way down to guys who I expect to do incredibly well at the Arnold and national level and OSG, et cetera. I mean, we've got a heavyweight oh, yeah. class that's definitely very solid for sure. And we're excited about it. Yeah. I saw a couple of names that I recognize on there. We'll pull up the competitors list in a second. Let's, uh, let's run through the events real quick. Tell me about some of them. Uh, I guess how you came up with them because I see a lot of keg. 
<laughs> there is a lot of keg. So, I mean, I, we're doing a brewery here in uh, downtown Columbus, which is a fun little spot. It's called Scofflaw Brewery. They actually have one up in Atlanta. They just opened up a satellite location or a second location here in Columbus. And uh, you know, yeah, like I almost a- messed up and booked a hotel in Atlanta for this one, <laughs> thinking it was at that place. And I was like, that'd been really bad. I show up the wrong brewery. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've been ready, though, man. You've been ready. Like, hey, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, let's go. Ready. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, so, uh, so is it the brewery? It's like an inside outside event center, right? So, like, you walk into the brewery, it's like glass doors, kind of like an old school. Uh, auto shop, for example, with just those big glass rolling doors. So I wanted something where you could kind of be a little bit in, a little bit out. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a car deadlift and a car squat in kind of this little back corner area, which is kind of secluded. And that way it's all set up, ready to go. And we can immediately just get through the events. Like I said, I love a fast show. But I wanted to pay homage to Scofflaw, and I wanted to have some kegs in there for sure. I'm going to get their little logo, and I'm going to spray paint it on a couple of the kegs as well just to make it look a little cleaner, a little nicer. Um, but I, I'm yeah. super excited about it. So the first event is going to be a keg carry and press, right? Because I didn't want to just walk up to a keg and start pressing. I want to add at least a little bit of athleticism to it. And we got about a 30-foot runway where I want to do that. So it was like the perfect amount of space to make, you know, the unathletic guys, the pressers who are only static, mm-hmm. kind of suck a little bit. And also to bring down the number of reps and make it a little less of a rep fest, a little heavier, kind of crappier, which is always what I'm shooting for, for sure. So they're going to carry 30 feet. As soon as they get to a little designated pressing area, they're going to press for a time, uh, as many reps as they possibly can. Uh, heavyweights are going to be at 275, middleweights are at 250, uh, 200s are at 200, I believe, and then 175, was was 175. So we've got some pretty heavy kegs going on for sure. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to hear to the actual weights. Yes, sir. So I had a... Uh, I had a guy I was trying to convince to do it, come out there and jump in the heavyweights uh, last minute. But oh, after yeah. playing with a keg, he said no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I do not I, want to press a keg overhead. <laughs> I can respect that. I, can, I, I will tell you this. I've seen some of the craziest cleans ever. So obviously, you know, a lot of people take it kind of vertical and they do that little side wonder press, which is how I do it. A lot of these guys are grabbing it. The big boys are grabbing it from the, excuse me one second. You're good. Uh, grab it from the side. They roll it up just like they're doing a keg. Uh, load and then they'll grab the bottom once it's in the rack and then press it out of there and then some of the other guys are like turning their head to the side cleaning it to the shoulder and then pressing from there as well so some of the technique is going to be absolutely gnarly i'm uh, i'm excited to see it especially with 275 pounds for sure yeah justin weaver is about the only experience i've seen with kegs and that man he loves kegs <laughs> he does he does we did the uh the strongest kegger over at madhouse which is i don't know if you've been to madhouse yet that place is absolutely i haven't crazy. Dude, you y'all need to make like a trip to Mecca over there. That place is absolutely gorgeous. Mark and his wife Kim do an amazing job up there. Great, great, uh, everything. Honestly, all the machines, all the weights, all the setup, all the strongman stuff. Just a beautiful venue. But he hosted the world's strongest kegger, Justin and his wife Am or girlfriend, wife, uh, relationship partner, uh, <laughs> went up there and did an absolutely fantastic job for sure. Just had a great contest and it was uh, it was like a max keg load, a max keg press, max keg carry. Um, I think it was just those three events, but it was it was fun, dude. They did a great job for sure. And Justin absolutely smashed it. So super success, super excited, excuse me, to see him uh, sign up for George Strong's man for sure. Oh yeah, he told me went before he was signed up. He's like, don't tell anybody, but we're gonna sign up. And <laughs> I, I saw his name pop up, so I figured it'd be okay to talk about it now. I like that a little strategy <laughs> right there, a little strategy for sure. That's right. Uh, and then uh, the other things I did on there, man, like I'm, I've never seen a car squat at a local level, right? So I thought some of the dudes would get a kick out of <laughs> doing something different. I wanted to have two frames going. Bob, my buddy Bob Schwantz from over here, another fantastic 105K. Um, I mean, he's mm-hmm. been clash Clash and OSG and Arnold and all that stuff as well. Um, he also uh, is a fantastic welder. So he was able to kind of build me what I wanted to make out of it. And uh, we were able to get one really, really good frame. We're going to have some heavy-ass weight on there like – uh, the heavyweights will be doing five plates on each side, so 10 plates total, so 495 squat, right, plus the car on top of that just because of the way it leverages. That way it's a consistent or more consistent amount of weight the entire rep. Uh, plus it just looks cool, right? Like how often do you get to oh, say yeah. to your wife or kids, like, hey, what would you do yesterday? I squatted a car. That's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you start oh, just, yeah. like, your ear just immediately just grows in and just like. It, it's it's cool. funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> All that testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I did actually, I was working with one of our channel sponsors, lift and press. They're out of Georgia. They, uh, they're building me a ton of stuff. They built me a car deadlift, but they're also wow. trying to build me attachments for a Conan and a squat. And I was oh, like, yeah. I, I want to do a car squat. And then I'll see yours do it. And I was like, dang it. He beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we'll share that. We'll share it. I'll say it's us. It's us for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> for sure. But no, so I, no, I I'm excited to see that one. 
Oh, me too, man. Me too. I, I just hope it holds together. I'm just like sitting here like, come on. <laughs> uh, and then the Fingal Finger, man, like how often do you get to see a Fingal Finger at a local show other than the Forge where Todd and the boys, you know, and uh, all, all those fellows up there at the Forge, you do a fantastic job. Um, oh, you yeah. know, so just something different there. We actually uh, got a couple of telephone poles from one of our members of the gym who works for Georgia Power. Joe Pittman did an amazing job of helping me get that. So that was super nice. Bob builds us a couple bases. And then the kids show, we're going to get a PVC pipe and just let Dan freaking push that bad boy over. Mm -hmm. back. Heck yeah. So it should be good for sure. Oh, yeah. And then Yoke and Keg Carry. Of... Yeah, exactly. Uh, I Yoke stole a couple Keg... of telephone poles when I saw yours. I was like, I went and got a buddy of mine to give me some telephone poles. I'm about to make my own. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I mean, honestly, once you drill out, so obviously once you figure out, you know, how high or how low you want to put it, once you put a carous bolt through that bad boy and you tighten down both sides, it's not going anywhere. You just got to figure out what gauge you want to go and how thick you want to go. That was the, the biggest thing me and Trotter and uh, Bob had to figure out when we were building it. It's like, hey, how, how much do we need? And then when that finger finger is directly over top of that carriage bolt, if that thing is long enough, that thing just boom, will bend the entire <laughs> carriage bolt. So learn from my mistake. Go as thick gauge as you possibly can without giving up uh, motion for sure. All right. I'll keep that yeah. in mind. Appreciate little, it. A little, little learning there for you right there. All right. <laughs> and then every year Scott Rand, uh, Georgia's strongest man, he always had a death medley. It was going to be something terrible. You were literally going to be laying there in the hot Georgia sun or underneath whatever shade you could find, and you would just be talking about how you hate everyone at that moment. So that Yoki <laughs> Perry is uh, homage to what we did back in uh, 2014 or 2015, one of his last years running it, where we just freaking sucked. Like I remember sitting in the uh, Fitness Depot parking lot up in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and literally thinking about just just ending it, like just calling it like the, the entire <laughs> day of my life. I'm not sure, but something needed to end just to stop that pain. So that was my goal with that one and uh, just making it crappy as hell and a little homage to him on that one. And then, I mean, Georgia Strong's Man isn't Georgia Strong's Man without stones, brother. You can't can't not have a stone event. It's just it's just part oh, of the yeah. DNA. It's always been a part of it. It's always been important to, to everyone who's ever competed through here from, you know, the old Drew Sheffields and guys like that all the way up through the newer guys coming up like a trotter. Um, so I'm super excited to see him. And honestly, even our two hundreds are excited for, you know, we got a couple of young guys who are, you know, Rangers like John Black and Robert Babbitts and, uh, you know, some of our other guys like Nate and, uh, yeah, we just got a lot, a lot of great guys coming out. I'm super excited for it. And then I, I honestly could not thank the women more. Like this is the biggest women's show we've ever had in Georgia strongest man. I think we've got 15 or 18 of them, which isn't hey, great, yeah. but it's still massive improvement from where we were, which is what I want. I want as many strong women as possible. Let's come throw some weight around for sure. So yeah, let's see. Let's look at that. We got I see a couple of names I recognize on here already. Amber. Yeah, yeah, that, that 160 class is going to be stacked, brother. Allie's coming down. She's going to go up in a weight class. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Amber, like you said, she's just a freaking stud muffin, just like uh, Justin is. So it'll be a lot of fun to see her. Ashley Bader's actually an IFBB pro. Should be a lot of fun to watch for sure. I mean, if okay. nothing else, she'll look good and you know, whatever she's wearing for sure. Just jack it <laughs> uh, And then uh, Jesslyn is one of the most country strong girls I've ever met in my entire life. She just showed up one day out of the country. I think she was holding a duck and like, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, so that was a lot of fun for sure. But no, she's come a long way, incredibly strong. Uh, Carrie's actually a master, but she wanted to do opens. Um, she actually just set the Georgia log deadlift and uh, overhead press record um, for USS back last June. So static strength is through the roof. We just need to figure out how to uh, how to get that going for the keg, and we'll be all right, man. I'm pretty excited about Heck it. Heck yeah. Do you know this Caitlin Cardone? I do not. I saw that she signed up. I was, I was super excited to see that, but I don't know her very well. She, I think she – she was registered for my competition in April and um, I think she was trying to get a bid for limit breaker. So oh, this would be nice. a great test. So I, since I'll be there, I'll be able to check and see, you know, compare to some of the other girls. Cause I see at least two names on here. They got invited. So if she I wins it or podiums that might get her an invite. Dude, I, and then on the uh, heavyweight division. Uh, so Elena, obviously she can come down from Madhouse and uh, Marietta barbell and all those gyms up there. But, she is strong as hell. She just came in top two or top three at South Carolina, strongest man and woman. Um, she smashed okay. Alila, obviously, like I said, once you Arnold and crushed. And then Lakin is a, is a sleeper, man. Her husband is actually signed up as well, Brad. Uh, just a fantastic, you know, military, active duty couple. Uh, they're coming down from Fayetteville, North Carolina. They used to be stationed here at Fort Moore, Georgia. Uh, just strong as all hell, like just getting after it. So that heavyweight division is going to be uh, uh, no, uh, no joke as well. <laughs> I almost swore. I caught myself at one point. <laughs> no, you're good. You're fine. <laughs> I mean, we're drinking whiskey, and I mean, it's going to slip out sometimes. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> That's right. 
Let's see, uh, Lakeith Allen. I, I met him in April. He was at our yep. show. So yep, yep. Lakeith is awesome. That's actually his buddy Demarcus who signed up with him. Dylan's coming down from uh, Bernhard Strawman up there, and then Jamie Clark's a local EMT and firefighter who uh, just a badass. He's just a well-rounded guy. He's a very good power lifter. Uh, pulls low sixes at 200 pounds. Uh, he is punching out of his weight class there, being a 231. But I couldn't find enough novices to make its own 90 kilo class, so he kind of got screwed cool. on that. Sorry, Jamie. He's he's pulling that much weight. He needs to move up to open. That's what I keep telling him, man. I keep telling him he's ready for it. Uh, he wanted to get one show under his belt before he did that. That oh, 175 gotcha. class is going to be gnarly as well. Zach coming down from Growlers is strong. Uh, Josh Young is good. Ryan McKenzie did really, really well the last couple of years at uh, Scott Helms. I don't know the Steven kid too well. Uh, what I did find about him on social media, he looks pretty damn strong as well. And then Michael Beard is a damn good Olympic lifter, so the overhead should be good for him. And he's got some pretty good athleticism to him. So I'm hoping he can put nice. a good show together for sure. I and see then that a couple familiar pound names class, here. Yeah. Yeah, AJ Knight is obviously, as you know, no joke. I think he's been OSG oh, yeah. in a couple of the other bigger shows. Uh, Justin Fletcher, all of his videos look really good as far as just like his weights. Robert Babis, watch for him on the keg press when you're there for the live stream. Uh, we did a oh, run through the other day, and I think he hit 10, 8. He, he was Ooh. this close to double digits if he didn't get it. Like in 60 seconds with a carry two, that's absurd. Like you should not be getting that Jeez. many reps for sure. Um, and then uh, John Black has come a long way as well. His squat's going to be – something to watch and, and weaver's just weaver's just a static stud so as long as you can put together yeah. some movement events he'll be good for sure uh, well if he's in them blue jean shorts he might not be able to move too well <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go up one side we're gonna go from a medium to a medium i'm excited about it <laughs> there you go yeah. uh 231s uh, man i mean we got bob schwanz in there you know what i mean like that's gonna be oh yeah kind of my benchmark bob's just a stud uh he gets after it he told me he wasn't gonna be able to get any squats and then he walked out the second time touching it and hit like 10 reps at four plates. And I was like, shut up, Bob. Just shut up. <laughs> and then obviously the stone event, I mean, he's, if not the best stone loader at 231 in the world, he's within the top three to five. Like that man will just never quit loading a stone. He's just freaking studly on that. Uh, Brad Polson did a really good job with the PSL qualifier in Baltimore back in February or March, whatever that was. Uh, he had a great show. He's come a long, long way the last couple of years. He's ready to do really well. Jake Rada, I mean, he's a 650-pound squatter. He's a freaking, you know, 700-pound puller. He's a mid-force bencher. He's statically strong as hell. Uh, Foy looks really good. Charles Posey looked good. Chris Colgan's come a long way. He actually brought his weight down from 270 all the way down to 231, just compete. So if he can keep that strength, he'll be good. And nice. then Will Patton, don't know much about him, but the videos I've seen, I've been able to find, have been really, really good as well. Um, this might be a good time to tell you, too, I am not going to do a 265 class, so Lucas is screwed. He's going to heavyweight. <laughs> Uh, that's oh. how he's going to find out is right now because I, <laughs> I asked, he's been telling me they can't make it. So I think he did my show too. So yeah, uh, he, did, he, he was out he may watch day. this. Yeah. <laughs> is that our Lucas? No, it's not our Lucas. Okay. It's, no, our Lucas would be, and he'd still be in the novice. He's, he's still getting a couple of comps under his belt. I got you. I got you. Um, I got you. Well, tell Lucas to come this, out George Strong's man. Not, not my Lucas. He's, he's, uh, he's, Prepping for Alabama right now. Oh, he's, good he's, for him. All right, very cool. He's Anybody going all in on that's going to be his next big show. Nice. Right. Anybody who sports Chris Slater, I'm all about it. He deserves as many oh, competitors yeah. as he can get for sure. Uh, yeah, man, Tyler cool. Collins. So Tyler just hit an 800 pound squat in the uh, USAPL meet we had here in Columbus a couple months ago. He is a freak, man. He's pulling mid sevens, uh, you know, benching mid fours. He actually just hit the 275 keg for a double or triple the other day. So he'll be right there. Cody Scott's come a long way. I don't know if you guys have seen Tim Ballou, man, but he's up at Growlers. Uh, he's a young cat yeah. as far as like being a strong man. Yeah, so he he's done a couple shows. Um, he did South Carolina Strongest Man. did really, really well he, as well. Yeah, he caught my South Carolina. Um, yeah. And I think he was competing against Donovan Cecil and Trey, Big yep. Trey from our, oh, our yeah. group. Yeah, yeah. And um, he's, he's worked with Trey on a couple of things and nice. Trey recommended him for the limit breaker. And I shot him a message. He hasn't responded yet. I'm curious to see which way he falls on that one. I'll get on his ass if you want me to, for sure. He'd be a good guy to go out for that. Sure. I'll be out um, there in a couple of weeks. I'll be, I'll be hounding them all. Don't worry. You know, hey, 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 you, hey, you. Uh, That's right. <laughs> no, but Tim's come a long way. Actually, John Ferg coaches him now up at uh, growler. So he's got a great okay. group up there to train with him and Zach Veers. Uh, so that's been really good. Trotter, from here in Columbus, man, I mean, he's literally done nothing but improve. Last year at Nationals, he finally got a lot of, like, big breakthroughs. If we can just get his press up and his deadlift up a little more, he's perfect. Uh, Nate Borg is a local guy. He's a freaking uh, badass. He just keeps showing up every day and working his ass off. 
He's come a long way. Will Bullard, I don't know if you remember him. He actually did quite a few big shows. Like he went up to uh, Kentucky for what's that terrible show they used to do on the dirt? Mammoth. <laughs> yeah, he went up to Mammoth a couple times and uh, he did a great job up there, had some really good showings. And then AJ, uh, right there, AJ Rock is what we call him. He actually just got an invite to the Arnold from winning uh, one of the big shows in California. So he's come a long oh, wow. way. And then obviously John Furr has been, you know, top 10 at OSG multiple times and, and deserves everything he possibly can. Definitely. And then have you guys had Tyler Haynes compete out with y'all? Yeah, I've competed against Tyler Haynes on more than one occasion. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So <laughs> the world's strongest blacksmith. So, you know, we'll, that's right. We'll go from there. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, Okay. Then masters, masters should be fun, man. I mean, those guys are going to oh, yeah. get after a little bit. Uh, Eric and Jeremy are going to be, you know, a good fight. And then Brandon Holbrooks, this is his first time competing in like three or four years, so I'm excited to see him. Uh, Chris Queso and then uh, Terrell Young, uh, they're going to get after for sure. If Brian Fitzpatrick can stay healthy, he's got a good shot. Uh, he's got quick feet. He's a pretty good athlete, so I'm hoping he can do something right. And then Dumont came out a couple times, and he actually looked pretty good as well. So, uh, again, I'm just – Super thankful that all these people want to sign up and come get after it. So uh, it, I just that's awesome. Man, you got a great lineup. I'm excited to watch it. I, I was trying to tack on a couple of people since since we're going to be doing a day trip over and back. I was like, come on, ride with me and compete, and I'll, I'll stream everything for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if they want to come help load and break down, that would be great too. But I mean, biggest I thing do have a couple of people who are probably just going to come watch and hang out. Um, yeah. I think Trey Godball is going to join us. Awesome. Awesome. We'd love to have Trey. Matter of fact, I might even throw him on that live stream for a little while. Just let him talk through everything. And I'm sure he would enjoy that just hanging out. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I'll be happy to feed you all some beers and, uh, you know, get you all going. And as long as you can help me raise some more money for the Children's Hospital, brother, I'm all about it. Whatever I can do. Do our best. I'm going to put in. A, I got to send you the like a little preview reel of all the sure. different slides and everything. But I've been working on yours and the West Alabama's kids because they're nice. the week before you. And oh, yeah. um I'm going to put a graphic that says, you know, X amount of everything donated goes straight to children's. Awesome. I tried to get a sponsor from my day job because we work with children's, but they, they were saying there was too many, they, unless you were a nonprofit, they couldn't work with you. Uh, no, I, so I'm not even going to collect the money. I'm literally going to just have a link to children's hospital of Atlanta. It's literally going to be sitting there like, Hey, do you want a Venmo? Do you want a cash app? Do you want a PayPal? Whatever. Boop. Click that. And then anybody who walks in, I'm going to say, Hey, George strongest man is free. All we ask is that you make a ten dollar donation to Children's Hospital of Atlanta, and then Send we got that to me. Yeah, and I'll put that in the description. You're the man. I appreciate that for sure. That'll okay, be huge. We, and then we should have a big check coming from uh, one of the local builders, Houston Homes. I think they're going to put in like a couple grand, and then some of the other ones have been really, really good. So you know, the goal is to get at least I don't know four to five k. If we can do something like that, I'll be I'll be stoked for sure. That'd be great. Be good day. Yeah, be a good day. Thank you. No, Thank you me. guys are awesome, man. Hey. Just right now, we're just trying to get our name out there, and we want to help everybody the best we can. No, oh, man, you guys have done a great job. I love seeing y'all sponsoring athletes with World Strongest Opinions. Y'all been getting after it, man. The content you put out has been on point, honestly. Like, you guys have been doing a really good job. And like I said, man, Appreciate we went from it. Limit Breakers two years ago, me being like, what the hell is that? To me being like, oh, <laughs> shit, that's a big freaking show. That's been going <laughs> nice, man. Like, I, man I mean, I, I'm grateful for the people who have joined in because, you know, luckily I became friends with Tyler – uh davis and yep, jerry yep. michelle and those two guys if if they recommend something typically whoever hears it is on board and both of them got in the ear of tyler over at psl sure. and that worked out to where now limit breaker is a qualifier for psl which that's like a dream come true i just that was my dream is to make this a local show to get somebody to a world level show so that's huge man being able to do that is absolutely massive uh you know Having met both of them at the uh, state show, they're nothing but class acts. You know, they're really good dudes. Got after it a little bit, talked a little bit of shit, which is what I love. So it works out <laughs> further. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure Tyler was going to talk shit no matter what. But Jeremy was funny. He's like, I'm just messing with you. I was like, I know, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is hilarious. Uh, yeah, he, he is, um, a, he's a funny dude. He, actually, he backed out of this year's Limit Breaker. He says, I had so much fun helping with your effing strong. He goes, I want to help with Limit Breaker now. Oh, so yeah. like, he, he chose volunteer over athlete. <laughs> That's just because he's right. weak and small. That's all that was. I <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let him hear that. Yeah, um, please do, please do. You heard me, Jerry. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> but no, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun show, yours and hopefully mine. But sure. are you okay with me inviting anybody on the spot at your show, dude? Dude, come on with it, man. I would love that. Bring whoever uh, you want. Anybody who wants to come hang out, 
compete, whatever. Like, I, dude, I'd love it. Even if you just want to put them on the mic and let them talk for a little while about, you know, limit breakers or any of the invitations y'all have coming up or Alabama strongest man. Anything I can do to support other shows, man. That's why as soon as like South Carolina was posting regionals, I try to repost from Georgia strongest man. Whenever Slater posts something, I try to repost it. When you guys post something from F Strong, awesome. I immediately repost it just because I want you guys to get as much exposure as possible. So I try to tag you guys and everything and all that good stuff. Because, dude, if, if my show gets bigger, your show gets bigger. If your show gets bigger, exactly. Chris's show gets bigger, Todd's show gets bigger, whoever in Alabama. You know what I mean? So I want to oh, yeah. see them grow. So I, I'm all about it, man. Like even um, Bernhardt up in uh, North Georgia, right? Like apparently she has oh, some contention. Yep, exactly. The big bear fight. Yeah. So like, I was all about raising that too, but apparently there was like contention. And I, I walked up, I was like, hey, look, I want y'all to have the best show possible. I'm putting my kid in your show. I'm bringing yeah. 10 athletes to compete in that show. Like I, I don't have an issue. And I think once she saw that, she understood because I, I don't want to have a, a an enemy in straw man, right? Like it's a stupid yeah. new sport that we love to do. People who want drama in the sport are stupid. Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, <laughs> Unless it's like wrestling drama where it's all fake and we're friends afterwards. That's about the only type of drama that we need. Right. I know yeah. when I, when I started my first show, I, I had a few people reach out. They were like, you know, there's other shows around the same time. Cause we did F and strong twice in the first year. We had so much fun the first time we were like, let's do it again in August. And somebody's like, Alabama's is two weeks before yours. I was like, so we're, we're not chasing the same people. I promise you. I was like, I, I'm getting people who have never done it and want to like play around with it. Yeah. And I met Chris, I met Todd, I met the, the state chairs for both of them, became sure. friends with both strong corp and USS. I was like, I ain't going to choose. I'm going to stay unsanctioned the whole time. Cause I, I like both sides and I want to I work with both sides. Dude, I, the only so. reason I do the strongman corp, honestly, is to, to honor Scott. I mean, Dion yeah, yeah. masters has always been absolutely fantastic to me for strongman corp. All the guys over David Waters, guys who've been there forever, they've always treated me with nothing but respect. So I do it out of homage to them and just to say thank you to them for you know giving me a chance to go compete and teaching me a lot thank and kind of helping me along the way, man. But I respect the shit out of both sides. Like Greg and Nicole Fields from USS Georgia, Central mm -hmm. Georgia's Strongest Man is an amazingly run show. I know they just retired, but every year they were on top of stuff. They brought yeah. in great people. They, they were awesome. <laughs> And this keeps going off a little bit. I had to get a new camera because our other one got fried. Yeah, you, were saying that. you had bad luck with them. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, we got it replaced, but I got to figure out the setting that keeps cutting it off every 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, man. I'm looking forward to coming out and streaming. I'm. Is there anybody that you have on like your team that you want to be mic'd up the whole time, or do you just want to be mic'd up? So it'll probably be me, unfortunate enough for everybody else. Uh, <laughs> so that'll, be, that'll be me running around being the MC and yelling at people, talking to people, all that good stuff. And then what I was going to do is going to have my wife and her good friend, Victoria, probably hop on there for a little while, just give me a break so they can talk on it a little bit. But man, other than that, dude, I appreciate you so much. It's never been live streamed before. We've already got people asking for the link and stuff. And the more people we can bring okay. out to, to raise money, that's all I care about, dude. Like as long as we can well, cut think or send it, I'm happy. I think I sent you the link to the actual stream itself. If, um, if you, I think I sent it to Georgia Strongest Man page. I got you. One of the 18. Yeah, like one of the eight <laughs> from one of mine to one of yours. <laughs> so it, it's, uh, it's a YouTube link and you, people can already start commenting, liking and um, getting awesome. ready for it. So go ahead. And if you want to share that with your people, I, I got like Garrett at the West Alabama Kids Comp. He's, he sent it out through Iron Podium to all the parents. That way they could share it with family and friends. Um, if you're cool with it, I'm probably going to set up a secondary camera facing like my table sure. and try to find somebody to just sit there and commentate, kind of like uh, no, CJ I, did. I will, and, uh, I will find you somebody. Or if you want to have Trey do it or if you want to bring somebody, yeah. you know what I mean? Maybe I'll talk to him. He'd be interested. Yeah. 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 Dude, Maybe whatever. me and him will do it while we're sitting there. <laughs> Dude, help yourself, man. Like whatever we can do to help, the only thing you'll have to do probably is, uh, and I probably did a poor job explaining this, but like, so it'll be keg carry and press over here on the left as you walk in through the brewery. Car squat and deadlifts will be over here to the right, and then Fingal finger will be straight ahead. So I'm gonna try to keep everything in one location, but you might have to move the camera a couple times. I've got well, now I've got two high def cameras, possibly oh, nice. three if I can get this GoPro to work, and then I've got about five security cameras that I can use, and they have a magnet mount. I can just stick them on a metal wall anywhere. Oh, shoot. So we can have like bird's eye views. And then what I could do is I could set up, are you going to run multiple events at one time? Oh, no, no. Hell no. Hell no. Okay. Alabama did that and they're doing it again this year. So I'm going to have to have like a quad camera yeah. set up 
Chris, um, Chris has like 150 athletes. I got 55. Ain't no way I run. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if you if you're gonna run one event at a time, like, or how many lanes are you gonna have? So I'm gonna run two, but it's gonna be freaking roll. So my goal is, so we have 55 athletes. I've already got them split. I've got my lanes all drawn up. So it's gonna be 25 runs, 25 runs. So it'll be running about 45 minutes per uh, event, and that way it's exactly mm-hmm. at four hours. When we start at 10. We're out of 2.33 and we're freaking done. But everything's set up as soon as they walk in. Warm-up time, hey, women, you just finished. Go immediately to the car deadlift. Fellas, you just finished 175s. You're going to be squatting the car in the next 10 minutes. Let's get it going. Like, we're, we're rolling, boys. Like, we're, we're set. Heck, yeah. Yeah. Well, for the high-def cameras, I've got a 50-foot cable and a 30-foot cable. Perfect. So, And then I've got a wireless setup as long as I can get power to it. Sure. And so we, I can set one, like, three, 400 feet away. As long as it's got power, it'll stream to the system. And then I've got – probably 600 foot of security cable so right. we're covered we, okay yeah, i won't have yeah, to move sure. i won't have to do anything awesome <laughs> as long as you got everything you need and if we can help with anything please let me know for sure and then uh Thank you know you good. did you fill out the uh questionnaire i did yep i sent everything back yeah. i think i sent okay. it back the day you sent it to me because i'm one of those people if i forget about it it's never going to happen so i just Same. bang it out because <laughs> we're targeted uh, you know plus you see all the football <laughs> helmets up there all the concussions don't <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah unknown concussions i'm sure i've got a few of them myself <laughs> Hey, what else can I do to help, boys? Anything else I can do? I think that's, that's it, good. man. I appreciate yeah. you jumping on here. Oh, I'll get. We're gonna fun. jump. We're gonna kind of air this out of order. We uh, we've been scheduling it to try to do one every two weeks and there have a is. backlog, but we're gonna go ahead and post this one probably tomorrow. Sure. I don't like it. Doesn't look like we're gonna have to edit much out or at all. So sure. it should be just a upload and go. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, whatever whatever I can do to help. To this. Just just tag right. me. Send me the link. Whatever you need. I'll get it on there. I'll get it up on Georgia Strong's man. So anybody has questions or whatever. And uh, yeah, man, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. You guys have been nothing but helpful and amazing. And, uh, you know, offering to come down a live stream is a huge advantage. I appreciate it. Hey, anything we can do to help the sport? Appreciate it. Is there you, anything man. else you want to say to the athletes or anybody watching? Uh, bring your fucking sack lunch today, boys. Like we're ready to go. <laughs> we're going to lift heavy stuff. We're going to do it fast. Not much rest time. And uh, be ready to drink a beer after because I'll be doing the same. Cheers. Cheers, boys. All right. Cheers. Let's go ahead and finish these off, Dan. Right, man. Uh, remember, nobody cares. Train hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Last